All right, guys, welcome back to the channel here, <clears throat> Truck Report Geeks. Thank you for tuning in today for the latest pickup truck news. And fresh out of the gate, I have what's going to be a very interesting topic here to discuss today on the channel. It's the new 2023 Chevy Colorado. And they are doing some pretty fancy things here. Uh, they are redesigning the whole look of the truck again, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's actually it's got a nice, really good, bold look to it as well. Uh, it's going to look pretty aggressive, actually, for the ZR2 model. So, yeah, so we've got some big changes here that I want to talk about. And uh, so the the what they're doing here, uh, the first thing they're doing uh, is what they're changing here. Chevy has moved the front axle forward, <clears throat> lengthening the wheel best base by 3.1 inches in the process and shortening the front overhang. Uh, the net effect is longer, which means it's going to be more horizontally hood and an improved angular approaches for the nose uh, for when you're going the, doing that off-road, of course. Uh, another big change that they are coming up with here the previous generations of Colorado's entry-level extended cab body style was pitched in the dustbin, so which means you can now only purchase the Colorado as a four-door crew cab with a short bed, five-foot, two-inch bed. Chevy says the, this move simplifies things on its manufacturing end, but primarily gets in line with the configuration at the that attract the, the most buyer interest on the last Colorado. Uh, so they're, you know, they're really trying to, you know, make things more efficient for them, those folks as, as well for, you know, on the assembly line. Also, simply simplifying the lineup is what they're saying here is the 2023 Colorado's move to a single engine choice. So what that means is. You are only going to have the option of a 2.7 liter turbo I-4 engine, which replaces the old Colorado's entry level of the 2.5 liter I-4, which was limited to base work truck models anyway. The 3.6 liter V6 and the 2.8 liter turbo diesel I-4 options are no longer going to be available. This engine isn't entirely new. It was introduced a few years ago on this larger Silverado, uh, 1500 of course. And strategy wise, it is comparable, they're saying here, to the Ford Ranger's single lineup wide 2.3 liter turbo I-4 engine. So that's what they're saying here. Also, the entry level Colorado work truck and the LT models make 237 horsepower and 255 foot-pounds of torque so and you have the optional uh, this will be optional on those Colorados and standard again this will be the standard on the Z71 and Trail Boss models is a 310 horsepower 390 foot-pound version of torque so again if you want the little more horsepower and a little more torque, you've got to you know, go to the uh, standard Z71 models and the Trail Boss version. So for those of you folks that are looking for the, you know, the top, top range of the Colorado Z, ZR2, of course, you can get the ultimate road off-road edition of the new truck. It again will be 310 horsepower with 430 foot-pounds of torque. So you're going to have another... 40 horse like 40 foot pounds more of, of torque there uh, for those of you folks that are looking for that more torque and it's going to be a 2.7 liter uh, i4 engine so yeah so that's going to be your engine options for the uh, chevy colorado for 2023 of course now what they are also saying here is with a 310 horsepower in the top uh, spectrum here, the Colorado is the most powerful mid-size pickup you can buy. That's what we're saying. Granted, the old V6 held the same title, uh, but in both the Colorado and the GMC badge twin, the Canyon, with 308 horsepower. So, uh, so they're moving away from that as well. So again, 
The discontinued diesel engine produced a mighty 369 foot-pounds of torque, but that figure is easily eclipsed by the mid-range 2.7 liter I-4. Even the new base models generate nearly as much torque than the old V6, which is pretty, pretty cool actually, at the higher RPMs of course, at 5600 versus the 4000 RPM range. The higher output 2.7s deliver their peak torque at just 3000 uh, RPM. So that is pretty interesting actually. So they're saying that their peak torque for these 2.7s will deliver uh, their peak at 3000 RPMs. The, they're also saying here the 2.7 liter turbo is a truck engine through and through having been designed from the onset for duty in the full line of the Silverado, of course. Uh, so uh, in playing an unusual secondary role, the, this is going to be the smaller, lighter Colorado, of course, which is uh, pretty cool there. So five grades, mostly of off-road. So even though the Colorado comes in a work truck, you also will have the LT. You'll have the Z71, the new to Colorado this for 2023 will be the Trail Boss. And the hardcore fans out there looking for the ZR2, of course, all five models share key featured uh, standard features, including a new 11.3 uh, inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Audio, Auto, I should say, and an eight inch fully digital gauge cluster. So your, your your gauge cluster cluster i can't talk today for some reason but your gauge cluster will be an eight inch fully digital uh, you'll have eight bed tie downs and a segment exclusive electronic parking brake chevy says the base work truck and the mid-grade off-road trail boss models share a more rugged uh, body frame for that work and play and they are also saying that the, uh, which means the basic uh, will be also have the resistant and plastic tickier cabin materials. So your base model will have more of a plastier cabin materials inside. The LT swaps in silver trim, plusher accents, and a leather wrap steering wheel, while the Z71 gets a sportier uh, ambiance with black and red accents and a mix of cloth and vinyl on the seat so you're going to have a little mixture there of cloth and vinyl again like the note the new bold exterior the colorado's interior goes from uninspired to competitive with a brash full width dashboard panel and it's round outboard air vents giving us plenty of camaro feels so that's pretty interesting so so they're really trying to make the the new Colorado not only look good, but they're also trying to give it that that new uh, style and bold, sporty look. So the work truck gets an all plastic <clears throat> face like the the larger Silverado work truck. It's going to have 17 inch steel wheels, and that's plenty plenty much. The LT model will have themselves a 17 inch wheels as well and tires. More body color elements on the front end and more chrome, of course. <clears throat> so it's a little bit of an upgrade. Finally, there will be a trio of off-road versions ranging from the relatively tame Z71 to the Trail Boss, which gets a 2.0-inch uh, suspension lift. And uh, so if you want to have a little more of a suspension lift, you're going to have to go with the Trail Boss, of course. Uh, and the ZR2, which sits three inches higher than the work truck and the LT and the Z71 models, which has a wider track. The grill and bumper well, gets uh, wild, wider the closer to the ZR2 you get. The, the ZR2 off, off is the rest of the lineup with flared fenders. So. So you've got meaty bumpers and even available bed-mounted roll bar with lights and bedlock capable wheels via a special edition uh, digital boss package. So that's pretty pretty nice as well. That's what we're saying here. Um, it's also going to have the 
the ZR2 is, is also going to come with the, what they're saying, a 10.7 inches uh, ground clearance. And for the ZR2, it's, it's like I say, it's 10.7 inches. With the Trail Boss standing 9.5 inches off the deck. And the other Colorados perched at 7.9 to 8.9 inches. So, um, I can't wait personally to see this truck. Uh, I can't see one, you know, I can't wait to see one, you know, traveling down the road here um, pretty soon. So again, for those folks that are, you know, looking for some latest and greatest, the new uh, smaller pickup truck models that are probably going to, I personally think next year, it's going to be that, that year where more and more people are going to start buying lighter duty trucks, the smaller trucks. Uh, I think the bigger trucks really are going to be for those folks that, you know, you're going to re be required to tow a lot of a lot of weight. So if you're going to be towing like a trailer, 8,000, 9,000 pounds, <clears throat> you would definitely want to go up to the bigger truck, the half ton or the three quarter tons. But if you're only going to be doing like five, 6,000 pounds towing and you want something that's, you know, it's a it's still got the four wheel drive option and an off road capability. For those of you folks going down the trails or, you know, for hunting and fishing. And it's going to be a lighter truck, so, you know, you won't probably get, you won't probably sink as much as the heavier truck. So, so that's it for now, folks. Um, don't forget to come back and like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next pickup, tr pickup truck news. And uh, bye for now.